Good morning, friends. Woke up here at this lovely campground here in Asheville, North Carolina. And, yeah, beautiful morning. Beautiful morning. So really the reason I got this campsite was I thought, well, at least I can just get my laptop out and uh, do some work, get some uh, video uploaded or something. But yeah, uh, guess what? It's got no electric. <laughs> I'm a tent camper now, y'all. <laughs> so I didn't, I had a you know, little bit of charge in my computer, but I didn't even bother to get it out. So yep, and that little solar panel I had, it charged my phone up. It charged it up 100%. So that was pretty cool. I'm glad I had that, it turns out. So yeah, whenever I, uh, you know, got in the little rental car, I threw in what I could think of that I would need, but yeah, there's still, man, it's like, yeah, I've got bacon and eggs in there, but I didn't bring my little stove or a pan. So anyway, good times, good times. The shop opens at 8.30. I'm going to give them a call and see where we're at and then uh, make my plans from there. So tent camping. Yeah. Um, that, that ground's way down there y'all <laughs> yeah I'll show you what I was sleeping on <laughs> hold on so I threw a, a couple of blankets down on top of this little air mattress that I have this is actually a backpacking air mattress it's a Neo Air and uh, yeah <laughs> while it's okay it's not my comfy van uh, as far as a uh, backpacking mat so yeah it's kind of awesome so yep that's the thermarest neolite i can't remember what the weight is though i'd have to look i'm wanting to say eight ounces not sure anyway it's pretty cool kind of love it my little tent is a kelty i got that at dick sporting goods a couple of years ago i can't remember it was like 80 dollars maybe they were on sale it's a two-man backpacking tent. I think it weighs about three pounds, five ounces, something like that. So I brought it just in case, you know, I did want to hike up a hill and sleep on top of a bald or something, then I could. But I didn't do that for a couple of reasons. <laughs> Ended up here, though. But, man, this is a beautiful campground. Beautiful. If I can figure out the name of it, I'll put a link somewhere. But, uh, man, i got to give this one a five out of a five, I tell you. I'm amazed they didn't stack the sites on top of each other y'all it's very cool I can kind of see through the trees that there's somebody over there I mean it's pretty full and um, whenever I got here to check in she asked well what are you looking for in a site so just something quiet would be great if that's a thing here and she said oh yeah we can accommodate you this was beautiful y'all beautiful now, yeah, as far as how I slept, not real well. I kept thinking I heard stuff out here in the woods. <laughs> oh, there goes a the van. I want my van back. So last night was kind of funny, y'all. I was sitting here in my chair, and I had a little campfire going, but it was really dying down. And I kept thinking I saw something out here in the woods. I kept thinking I saw eyeballs reflecting off the campfire. And... They were really low to the ground, so I thought, well, it's got to be like a raccoon or a skunk or something. But I'm not hearing any animal noises. And I just kept seeing these little lights blink. And, yeah, it was fireflies. It was really cool. So, yep, the forest kind of lit up with fireflies for me, and it gave me a beautiful little show. So, yeah, not a bad place to be if I have to be somewhere broke down. <laughs> it was a pretty good night. But, yep, I think just to see what's going to happen with the van and figure out what I'm going to do today. So I will let you know when I know. So yeah, well this whole breakdown thing was a real bummer. I mean, of course, it's no fun. Let's try to make the best of it. And um, have, it, it's ended up being kind of a fun adventure. So yeah, um, Asheville Chevrolet. I can't say enough nice things about them. Kim works in the service department. Oh man, she's awesome. So I know that I got here so late yesterday because of the tow truck debacle, but they were just very kind. Let me, you know, go ahead and leave it there. So I called her the first thing this morning and I said, well, I know you didn't get a chance to get a look at it yesterday because I got here so late. And she said, nope, we pulled it in the shop first thing this morning. He's on it now. I'll call you back in a little bit, let you know what's going on. 
well, not even 15 minutes later, she calls back. She says, yep, it's exactly, you know, what we thought. It was the connection going to this sensor, and that's why you were throwing that code. She said it had just rubbed raw. She said if you touch it just right, you know, you could get it to start and go. But then as soon as it, yeah, anyway. So that's why sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. And, uh, yeah, the dirt road did her in. So he's going to get that fixed for me. And she said it would be about three hours. I can get on my way. I was not expecting that. I was really trying to figure out what the hell I was going to do in Asheville for three days. It's really what I thought was going to happen. But, uh, yeah, kudos to Asheville Chevrolet. Thanks, guys. All right, so I've already packed up <laughs> the Jeep Renegade. Um, yeah, as far as rental cars, it's okay. Nothing to write home about. But I'm going to go kind of tour this campground a little bit. Now that uh, I've got the stress off of me, then, yeah, I can do that. I can just kind of chill out, go tour around, and then I'm going to head to Grayson Highlands and see about some ponies. I noticed this sidewalk talk whenever I was coming down to the trash can earlier. It said, Happy Mother's Day, Diane. Goodbye, Jim. And then down here, just a bunch of kids drew some stuff. Looks like some tents. And they said, Camping is life. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Okay, so this is where I am. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that because I will do it wrong. But yep, that's where I am. So I know yesterday I was complaining a lot about uh, AAA, and even the tow truck driver was telling me that sometimes AAA will leave you sitting there on the side of the road, you know, for 12 hours. He said the reason they do that is because they have this list of people that they use in the area. So whoever's up next on that list gets that call. Well, if, if that guy happens to be 90 miles from you, well, then that's the guy they call. They don't call the closest one. They call the next one on the list. So I think what I've learned from this experience is next time I break down, because there probably will be a next time, um, I'm going to find my own tow company, a local one, then call AAA and tell them I would prefer you to call these guys. And I guess they will, because that's what I ended up doing yesterday. And uh, yeah, I'm not really going to complain about AAA anymore, because the tow truck driver also told me that was about a $500 tow up and over that mountain. And he said, AAA will pay it. So... Yep, no more complaining about AAA. I just got to figure out how to work this system, that's all. And I think I figured it out. Find your own find your own mechanic, find your own uh, tow company, and let them pay for it. So, yay, AAA. All right. The only thing is, yep, if uh, they would have sent that tow truck that first time, then I would have gotten out of here. I wouldn't have had to rent a car and get a campsite and sleep in a tent. But that's okay, AAA. I'll forgive ya. I got to find this place. Alright, fun exploring. And yeah, I did bring a change of clothes, y'all. I really did. I'm still wearing the same thing I was wearing yesterday because I brought a tank top and some shorts. And it's not quite that warm yet. It's real overcast, so I'm just leaving my t-shirt on. I'll change whatever I get in my van. That's where all my clothes are. Good times. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me during this little... Uh, Van Venture. <laughs> Stay lost, my friends. Okay, so this is where I am. Like Powhatan? Powhat? Pow? I don't know. And what to do if you have a bear encounter. Don't run. Back away slowly. Face the bear, but don't look him in his eyes. Keep him in sight. Make yourself look big and make noise and stomp your feet. Okay, gotcha. <laughs>